What is going on everybody and welcome. This is One Actual and welcome to the visual guide for Eden's Gate Sepulchre. I'm here to give you a clear, quick, and concise guide on how to complete it. If this video helps you out, please don't forget to drop a like and of course subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV guides and videos. For all of you who missed out on the joys of Titan X at eye level in Realm Reborn, this is as close as it gets. Prepare for a steep difficulty shift because this fight is awesome. Enjoy it. Voice of the Land is an unavoidable room-wide AoE for healers to heal through. Evil Earth will take a square on the ground and move outward, turning the other squares into AoEs as it moves outward. Object of the mechanic is to stay on a safe spot and quickly maneuver over to a safe zone after it casts, before your spot detonates on you, causing huge damage and a vulnerability upstack. Stay close, and when you see the moment to move, do it quickly. Weight of the Land will pick certain squares on the ground to detonate into AoEs similar to Evil Earth. Stand in the sweet spots and wait for your opportunity to move. Stone Crusher is a tank buster that requires a tank swap, as after taking the hit, you will receive a physical vulnerability debuff. Be advised, do not stand near the other tank before you take aggro, as Stone Crusher is a tight AoE and you can also take the debuff. Maintain your space, take hate, after the hit, take position. Crumbling Down will spawn two pulsing AoEs on the ground. Simply go in between the AoEs and toward the edges to minimize damage. Seismic Wave will require you to run behind one of two rocks to avoid taking mass damage, and this is your hint for future mechanics. Do not stand near the big glowing rock for any reason. Move to the non-glowing rock and place it between you and Titan. Geo Crush is a move that will cover the arena with a big knockback AoE. I like to place myself kind of along the edge of a direction that I see facing the most face, as you see on screen, to guarantee myself not getting thrown off the cliff. He will jump directly on this spot and send you in the direction of whatever arrow you're standing on, so make sure it's pointing toward the direction where you want to go. Massive Landslide is where it gets interesting. You will want to be standing in front of him when this gets casted, as he slams everywhere on the map extremely hard and has the potential to one-shot you. Soon as he slams the sides, a blue line AoE will form. Move out of that to the sides and you will be home free. Bomb boulders will spawn small boulders around the arena that will explode in time like the original Titan mechanic, only this time it will come with Cobalt Bomb. Titan will tether himself to a specific boulder and that is the one you're going to want to avoid at all costs. Find the sweet spots between the bombs and away from the big one to survive. After another Geo Crush, you will begin casting Fault Zone, and this in my opinion can be the most difficult mechanic so I'm going to spend some time here. You're going to want to be tight on his sides for this mechanic, unlike Massive Landslide. He will knock you back very far if you are not tight on his sides, knocking you off the map. Stay tight, then wait for the next opportunity to cross over to the blue line indicators where you will die. Later on during the fight, you will be driving around I believe up to 5 times at once, so you're going to want to make sure you do not eat any blue AoEs while quickly moving in and out of his sides to also avoid the knockback knocking you off the cliff. Earth and Fury will cause a room-wide AoE that will also leave an annoying filthy debuff. There's no way to avoid this, have your cooldowns and heals ready while keeping a defensive posture until the debuff is gone. Toward the end of the fight, you'll begin casting landslides which will cover the whole arena in an AoE. Find the small safe spots. After his attacks, your safe spots will turn blue and you will want to quickly move out of them. Leftward or rightward landslide will have him cleave half the map in accordance with the name of the move, left or right. So move out of the AoE, then immediately the opposite side will go blue and you'll have to move to the other. I hope that makes sense. Yikes! Now I know that was a mouthful, and probably a lot to take in on one shot, so allow me to give you the quick and easy main points now. Stone Crusher must always be tank swap. Stand in front of him for massive landslide, and tight to his sides for fault zone. Stay away from the big glowing boulders and never jump the gun when moving across platforms AoE indicators until they are casted. You have time. Everything else is self-explanatory and shouldn't cause you issues. This fight is as close to an extreme as you can get, but don't get discouraged if you struggle. Once you get the fight down, 
I won't be surprised if you put this on your top five normal raid experiences of all time. And that's all she wrote. Thank you so much for watching my guide on Eden's Gate, Sepulchre. And congratulations in advance on your clear. My hopes are that this guide helped you out. And if it did, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV guides and videos. How's your experience? Let it be known down in the comments section below, along with any tips you veterans got for the newcomers. As always, it has been a pleasure, and I hope to see you in the next one.